this is another thing uh, regarding this whole 9.2.5 season 4 stuff. Um, I don't know how much they communicated on this. They did a pretty good job on it, but basically... All, all that's happening in season four with the with the, the this is an experiment for them to actually make uh, some sort of reuse of older content and you can see that with with the, the rotation on mythic plus dungeons and also this so um it's kind of like a, a big testing ground for things moving forward this is not going to be the final version of whatever the fuck they want to try they, yeah. they're trying to pull off here but it does sound promising in the sense that if they can make it like um in have some good incentives and not burn out people for it i mean guys think about it there's so much content in this game we're only talking now raids and mythic plus but goddamn there's so much content that i, I bet a lot of people either missed missed completely or people just want to do it again but with some form of um, uh, meaning right yeah, if they managed to pull it off, it would be good, man, because th this is the thing. Uh, in terms of, like, um, when we're looking at patch cycles, and by no means, I don't want to give Shadowlands as an example, but when you're waiting for a new patch in Shadowlands, you felt the fucking drought, man. You got bored. You had, like, a million different alts with all that grind bullshit and all of that. This, this season four situation here is kind of a way for them to, like, okay, give you something to do, e even if it's rehashing all content. Content, but if that content has some sort of meaning behind it or some sort of like incentives or rewards, it could be all right. I don't mind going into all their dungeons if they're in a mythic plus oh, situation. No. I don't mind doing some sort of like neat ass class quest that requires me to visit all zones in a season four and get me some nice cosmetics and stuff. You see what I'm saying here? They can lay the foundation for some really cool thing um, in, in this, 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 this patch drought period that we're gonna have in Dragonflight, you know, it's gonna this happen. Is, well, there's a couple of things here because first of all, it's uh, having crazy stuff is good because with crazy stuff, they take risks and they can get new content. Hey, how's it going guys? We'll, uh, we'll answer some of those questions in a second. Um, and they can essentially test it because fuck it, let it be crazy for like a 0.5 pass so we can move into Shadowlands because this is definitely new ground and having it tested with like Shadowlands content is probably the best thing because it's like the most recent developed content and whether you like the dungeons or raids or not, mechanical wise, script wise, technical wise, they're the most advanced, the most uh, recent content so most likely to be able to be tweaked with. So I think that's, I think that's fine and I think that can open doors for a lot of stuff because there's so much content content in the game that we don't know how it will be once it's put there into like yeah, current yeah. current content and they, they don't know either so this is the thing right they want to test this out to see how it works and get the, the the feedback from the players and maybe make it work much more better and much more clearer i would say in dragonflight so i think the premise of it is really good it's just at this point there's a lot of like you know un un uncertainties now mr. rng mr mr Mather, mr mr lord don't of the me, rings yeah don't give me because i have a collection of 20 rings from the vault it's all cool no but what i'm saying is where do we draw the line of rng being this exciting thing that you know makes you want to push more and then do some more content and where was the line end and starts being frustrating and painful and just you know uh you just grinding for weeks and weeks and weeks and not just getting it i feel that the rng at some point has to be fair and it does, didn't really feel that fair in wow for the last couple of years this is all i'm saying you can have the the ridiculous rng but also give some ways to, to to direct i mean after you put in the effort for let's say a month and i did for on my rogue last season and i still don't get no daggers please give me a way to compensate the time or to reward the time i put in to to get that thing that i wanted and don't rely it 100 percent on rng i have proven to you that i'm committed and dedicated but i have so much bad luck that this is how the sun shines sometimes right i think i uh, think what they're doing right now with the uh, maybe to close out on the topic as well what they're doing right now with the faded raids is something that should be applied to current live content mm -hmm. where you have a vendor aura questions like listen you've killed sylvanas like six times and you didn't get the dagger oh all, all right after you kill her several times you're gonna gather enough coins or whatever bullshit and you something. can just buy that item yeah, if they're something. gonna make the because when you have like one percent uh drop chance for loot 
Uh, I mean, this is gonna happen, right? You're gonna have people that... Uh, this is a problem that they've addressed back in vanilla, because if you remember, Nax Ramas from the original Classic WoW was so hard to get into, and obviously you need the gear, the specific gear to get into, because you had back then 40-man raids with like four items dropped for the entire raid, and who knows, those <laughs> might not even be the, the tiers, the tier set that you needed at the time. So, to... to after that, after vanilla, they've scaled down the raids, they've increased the drop chance and stuff like that, they've improved the loot, right? So, it doesn't make sense why they wouldn't do it now as well, because it's still, it's still a bit ridiculous.